gamble on these cars and bet on these cars, that's about it. I do the dummy retarded and ride the yellow bus. Turn the car in circles until the dive bus. Off the window like, hey, hey, cuss, cuss. On the hood of the scraper, like. What, you spills and deals? Back at it again, y'all, man. I'm up in this uh, Chevy Cavalier right now. It's a little custom. It got a custom exhaust. I seem kind of high up, man. These, like, it got it got the suede headliner. It got the red uh, carpets, red carpets. Uh, I'm taking this uh, cover off, the seat cover off. What's it got? Custom steering wheel cover. Look at him. But um, yeah, guys, man. If y'all guys don't know. Chevy Cavaliers are the first cars that I, I used to sell. I used to sell a whole bunch of them. These was my favorite, my go-to cars. You can find them cheap and sell them cheap and make some good money. Evidently, I did pretty good. But man, I, so I'm back to my roots, man. I like I like these cars personally. So and they, they always sell, but they're always fun to drive in between the sales. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I'm over here just having fun in this little loud little. It's kind of dirty on the outside. I'm gonna show y'all. It got all type of tree stuff on it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, it says racy on the side, so I don't know. I don't know. It seemed kind of peppy for a little four cylinder. I might have to keep this old car, y'all. Yeah, right. Keep it till I sell it. Everybody out here washing their cars. Wash this car. And I gotta wash the motor on this car. So y'all pray for me, man. Hopefully it don't mess up or fuck up. Let's see. Yeah. Car. A little two door. I usually like to sell four doors, but hey man, I could have passed this one up, man. This is the LS Sport. Y'all guys not familiar with these Cavaliers, the LS Sport, basically, is the same engine. Hold on, let me put this up. Basically, it's the same engine. It just comes with the ground effects. I don't know if y'all see it come with the ground effects. The ground effects in the back. You see it come with the ground effects and all that. It don't come with this little carbon fiber, but it comes with the ground effects. What else it come with? Uh, They come with some good chrome rims that are kind of similar, just like these ones, but these are aftermarket. Uh, what else is this one? Oh, but the front, this front bumper is not the LS. So that must have hit something, they replaced it. But it's supposed to have ground effects in the front. Also, kind of similar like how my Camaro SS is my Aquafina. And they come with this interior. Instead of the other kind, the other kind is more cheaper made. This is more cushy. So I guess it's more premium made interior. So I'm gonna take that one. That's the cover off. And it comes with like this on there. That's pretty much the difference. I noticed with this, they put this, uh, the strut brace, whatever they call it, man. I guess it helps out the handling. I can't think of the right name of it right now, but y'all see it. Let me go see is, is there one in the trunk. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's supposed to help the handle in. Nah, they ain't put one in the back. Well, look how dirty this car is, man. Stuff all over the place. And for those that don't know, that want to know about the business side of it, so if I spend like two dollars, three dollars on this, I just add it to the car, man. Three dollars to the car for my inconvenience, man. I don't got time to be hooking up a power washer and all that, especially when it's not warm. It's cold outside, so I got to keep putting it back up. I don't want to do all that right now. Maybe in the summer I'll, I'll keep it plugged up and keep it, keep using it, but it, the ground don't dry up fast enough, and I don't want a wet floor and muddy floor, nasty floor. I might have to jack up something and get on the ground. I ain't trying to get on the ground on 
on the wet thing. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and clean this motor off. Now it's all clean, y'all. Look at this baby. Looks all the way different when it's clean. Still gotta vacuum the inside out, wipe it down, put some tire shine on the wheels. Everyone and a mama up here, man. So I'm about to vacuum this car up, clean it up some. This car is pretty fun, man. I don't know how much I should ask for this car. I don't know, I'm thinking about Maybe 2,000, 1,800. I think that'll be a good deal somewhere around there. Y'all hit me up if y'all interested. Um, for the starters, let's take this down. Cover off. Yeah, see the seat? He only had this on for decoration. He wasn't trying to hide nothing or nothing like that. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna continue cleaning this car up, trying to get it ready for one of the uh, lucky nations that wanna buy it. <laughs> Getting stuff done, fixing stuff at the house. But man, this, I like these little Cavaliers, man. For real. All got the red with the black. That's the only thing that don't really match. What is this, gray? What is this? Type of gray or something? I don't know. on these this the, this one got the ecotech when i get to my destination i'm gonna do a little walk around of it show y'all uh let y'all see the motor and all that i just want y'all to hear hear the car run i know everyone looking at me talking about nice car nice this nah. <laughs> maybe later on when i hop in my corvette i ain't getting that kind of attention on the kind of attention i'm getting is like god damn that car is annoying I gotta be 
tuned. I don't remember no Cavalier driving like this. This car gotta be tuned. That thing down there wants a red line. Even though I'm working, I'm enjoying myself, having fun. I just don't like it when it's cold. Y'all see I don't got my hoodie on right now. I'm juiced and pumped and I'm ready to make this money. I actually, I've been making this money. They acting like it's tax season already. I've been selling stuff, but man, tax season ain't really here yet. It kind of feel like tax season, but not, not, it's not here yet. And tax season usually like last, the last two years, they only last for two weeks. Because people are just spending their money quick, boy, and they're impatient. Jumping in different ones, driving them. Y'all know I make this thing look fun. You know what I mean? And he got that clean old charger over there. Let me see, can y'all see it? Let me move the camera over there for y'all to see it, man. Sound right. It says Super B on the back of it. I don't know that y'all see that or not. But, uh, man, trying to get to my destination. Just on waiting at this light. Get real paranoid when I'm sitting at the light. Nah, a lot of people don't notice me in this car anyways. I don't care. Well, it is bright red and it's loud, so I don't know y'all. Yeah, like you got the Lolo out. Then hit the switches. What's up with this light, man? I was better off riding through the parking lot and cutting through. I got to hit it one time, man, before I all right, here we go. I'm in my X Racer type. I know it's funny, y'all. I, I used to call these cars baby, baby Camaros. <laughs> these, these remind me of like baby Camaros. I, don't, I can't believe I used to keep these cars. I used to have a silver, a yellow one. It's like one of my first videos that I posted. It was yellow, and then I spray painted and the door jam silver and then I end up getting the whole car painted silver. I call that car the Silver Surfer. Yeah, someone's gonna like this car just for the noise. <laughs> someone's gonna like this car just for the noise. They put it in neutral. Backfire. <laughs> man, what they riding out here on four wheelers? <laughs> they just riding, man. I ain't go. I said it before in the previous video, but man, I could. I knew it was some country stuff going on when when they was out there and swimming, or they look like they was taking a bath out in this water, man. It is disgusting. But anyways, man, we got the whip. Daddy. Looking good, looking good. What y'all think? I'm thinking maybe 2018 for it, man. I think it's a 04, 05. 
Got 140,000 miles, 142. It is the LS Sport. So, come on, let me. He interrupted my video, y'all. Look. He having fun. What? But man, this thing ain't looking bad though. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty clean. My key at start this bad boy up. See how that motor look like after I cleaned it. Look, yeah, it looks pretty good, y'all. Looks pretty good. Not too shabby. Pretty cool. Motor sound good. AEM Sports. Top of the line, buddy. Side. Racing. But well, yeah, let me show y'all the back. Man, that's crazy. He got all the red interior. I mean, the red carpets. Already right, got the tents. It's cammed. It's cammed and ready to go, y'all. This plane is not cammed. Well, let's see. Truck. Look like they have some subwoofers up in there. This was somebody's baby. And the crazy thing is, when I be selling cars that that's custom, like you know, not custom, but you know somebody's likeness someone's creation they put the wheels on there they change the carpet when someone noticed their creation i'm gonna leave the racing on there so someone's probably when i post cars online people are like hey that's my car i remember a long time ago people were like oh that's my car you only paid 300 for it no that's what you sold it to the bigger dealership for i paid more because they got to make money on that or at least make their money back on it so gonna tell me what what i didn't pay for no that's what you sold it for that's not what i paid for just because it's at the dealer i don't mean it's gonna go cheap for sure because there's someone like me that wanted just like me so they ain't gonna let me get it for no 300 then go buy it then get someone sold this car for 300 or let's say 500 someone sold this car for 500 and you wanted it and you know you could and you know you could get 1500 for it and make a thousand and you know for a fact that you can sell it for fifteen hundred. Will you let someone outbid you at five hundred? No, you gonna give me give me six hundred. You gonna be seven hundred. You might even go eight hundred because you know you can make money on it. No matter two hundred, one hundred, any of that, man. Think it's common sense. I just want to do a little walk around of this, but anyways, man, I'm tired of driving. I won't call it a bucket, but uh below my class it's time to hop up in the vet man it's, the sun is still up it's still nice right now i maybe i could drop the top down before it gets too cold because it might get cold within 30 minutes or something so i'm gonna try to hurry up and put this up pull out the vet and start riding let's get it man we had to hop up in the vet man i i don't care how it, it didn't the temperature didn't drop I could feel a little cold on my ears, man. But I still had to uh, pull out the bed and take the top off. We well, already had the bed out, but I had to take the top off. I see this Monte Carlo right here. He got a custom beaten out and shit. Man, what up? Yeah, guys. I had to pull out this motherfucker. I had to pull out the bed, y'all. 
I had to. I had to feel it. I had to take the top off. Relax. It's kind of cold. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but man. Dallas, I think, it's what, I think it's somewhere in Dallas area, Dallas Fort Worth area. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I'm going to the uh, to the YouTuber race event. So I'll be there, man. March 7th, so that's next month. On the 7th, I'll be out there. Uh, Y'all don't know about it, man. There's a YouTuber named Demonology. Y'all go check his page out. It's his event and Dunk Master. Demonology and Dunk Master throwing an event, so I'm gonna be there on the 7th, March 7th. So if y'all wanna link up with your boy, I'm gonna be there. In the vet, I'm pulling up. Shitting on shit. Hell no, I ain't gonna race though. I am not gonna race. I'll let other people tear up their cars, man. My car is just for show. I ain't trying to hurt myself, kill myself. I ain't trying to uh, crash my car. No, no. I ain't got time to. I ain't gonna race if I ain't gonna be racing for money and I'm not a racer and I don't bet like that. I'm not a gambling man. I gamble on these cars and bet on these cars. That's about it. But other than that, that's not my lane and that's not my style. I'm gonna stay in my lane. I sell cars. Buy and sell cars. You know what I mean? And do big shit. So I, I'll pick up a little power here and there. You know what I mean? turn this heater on. Can I turn that heater on? Hopefully it don't mess up the sound quality. But I'm kind of getting kind of cold and I can't afford to get sick, y'all. Man. I'm on my way to go get something to eat. I just had to pull out the vent, man. I just had to. Sometimes you get sometimes a lot of people forget I got a Corvette. I always talk about the Monte Carlo hard. I always talk about the Camaro hard. Mainly the Monte Carlo hard. And then a lot of people forget I got a Corvette. But I had to bring this baby out, man. This is my favorite, my favorite. And I do like, now I'm starting to see more videos of the C8, y'all, man. I thought about it across my mind, but nah, I like my C7 better. I like the look of the C7 better. But I ain't gonna lie, the C8 looking real boss. It's looking boss right about now, man. It's looking real boss, y'all. But uh, man, Brody, man, that ain't that cold, man. What am I crying about? But uh, man, I, I love Chevys, man. Uh, they're supposed to be having a some type of car convention that's coming out here with all the new cars, so I'll get a chance to look at the, the C8 again. But um, yeah, I, I like what they're doing with it with the hard top convertible. That's looking real ball. That's a good look for Chevy, y'all. But I don't think I'm going to get it myself. Man, but and again, though, I never thought I was going to have this Corvette and I ended up with it, so... I thought I was gonna keep a Monte Carlo forever. I thought I was gonna keep a Camaro forever. And then next thing you know, I got a Corvette. So I never know what the future might bring me, uh, you guys, but I got my mind on buying another house. Well, two other houses. Since I own my house, I wanna buy two other houses. All the damn structure, I ain't trying to wind up in a ditch or nothing but yeah man like i'm gonna try to get me a uh i want to get another silverado like i used to have Z, z71 all wheel drive i want to find me another one of them uh man that's so many other cars i want but i can't i can't keep all of them can't keep all of them something got to get rid of so i can keep a good four cars that's my personal I think that's perfect. Four cars is perfect for me. Melly got her one, but just for right now. But man, anything might change in the future, man. You never know, man. My money start, might start going up. Uh, you just never know, man. You never know where I might be at, man, what, what I'm trying to do. So um, y'all just gonna have to stay tuned and find out and see what happens, man. Everything, you never know what might happen with your boy, man. Man, I love driving this car, y'all. Especially when I go through the drive through everyone be jocking this car. But anyways, y'all, just like that, this video is over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Look at Wills and Dizzle, I'm out. Yeet! I break it down the door, not a store key. Got a bitch to cool me down up in the booth, because I might overheat. I can't believe it took me these views for you to notice me. I can't believe it.